Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the bandwagon again. We're going to start it off tonight with a song called No Price Tags on the Doors in Newfoundland. All those help again. Surrounded by a mighty sea is an island dear to me. Described by some a place rock and sand. But so many a man that's found when the world has turned them down. There's no price tags on the doors in Newfoundland. There's a welcome on the breeze blowing inland from the seas that some folks find hard to understand. But it's just to let you know that no matter where you go, there's no price tags on the doors in Newfoundland. Raise your glass and drink with me to that island in the sea where friendship is a word they understand. But it's just to let you know that no matter where you go, there's no price tags on the doors in Newfoundland. There will always be a chair at the table for you there. They'll share what they have with any man. You don't have to worry, friend, if your pocketbook is thin. There's no price tags on the doors in Newfoundland. Raise your glass and drink with me to that island in the sea where friendship is a word they understand. You will never feel alone when you're in a new fee zone. There's no price tags on the doors in Newfoundland. There's no price tags on the doors in Newfoundland. So we got John Warren with us now, and John's gonna do a song called Cremate and Sam McGee. Right on. All those old northern lights, they have seen the parasites, but the parasites that they did never see. It was on the moonlit bars of that old lake, the bars on the night that I cremated Sam McGee. Now my pal Sam McGee came from old Tennessee, in the land where the cotton fields roam. But why Sam left his home in the deep seas out the roam around the cold way up north, God only knows. In the long search for gold, he was always so cold, how he along again to roam the southern plains. And I'd listen to him rave, how he feared an icy grave. If I died, he said, free me. Thank you. 
So we got Eugene Anderson with us. Now Eugene will do a song called Blowing in the Wind. Tell them those squeeze bags. Penny with us now. Evelyn's going to do a song that she wrote herself. It's called Love in May. And this song is going to be requested by Bill Drake to his sister Laureen Drake living in PEI. Oh 
Request down the past line from greetings. We got happy birthday to Matthew Spencer, who was one year old today. Greetings from mom and dad, also from family and friends, and especially from cousin Roger. We got birthday greeting going up to Jody Sims, who have celebrated her eighth birthday on the 17th of February. Greetings from mommy, Nan, and Poppy Sims, also Nan and Poppy Coombs, and from Joey and Bobby. Birthday greeting going up to Scott Green on his ninth birthday on the 15th of February. Greeting from mom, dad, two brothers, one sister, Nan and Poppy Ann, Aunt Marilyn and Uncle Steve, and Aunt Debbie and Uncle Dave and Megan. We got a birthday greeting going up to John Spencer Jr. celebrated his birthday on the 25th of February from family and friends in Virgil. And we also got a birthday greeting going up to Tammy Billard who celebrated her birthday on the 25th of February. Greetings from family and friends in Virgil. Happy birthday to Kelvin Billard who celebrated his birthday on the 25th of February. Greetings from family and friends. And we got an anniversary greeting going out to Donna and Joel Spencer from Ellen and John Amon. Anniversary greetings to Jack and Beatrice Ann celebrating their 26th wedding anniversary. On the 21st of February, greetings from five sons and two daughters. Anniversary greetings to Lewis and Florence Domney, who celebrated their 23rd wedding anniversary on the 28th of February from all the family. And we got an anniversary greeting going out to Sue and Fred Davis on their 29th wedding anniversary, the 27th of February. Greetings from Donna, Dean, and Kathy and St. John's. So we got John back with us again. Now John is going to do a song called God Would You Listen to Children. I was walking one day past the graveyards. I happened to see a small boy on a grave. He had just placed some flowers in his hand. The book of our Lord. He said, God, do you listen to children? Is it something they really must say? It's about what have happened to Daddy, and I must tell before it's too late. Daddy has changed since Mom left us. 
It's not like when mommy was old. Now daddy spends all his time drinking. And I spend all my time alone. God, would you please help my daddy? Or should we go through this alone? stay with mommy or could you please send mommy home daddy has changed since mom left us it's not like when mommy was on now daddy spends all his time drinking and I spend all my time alone We got Eugene with us now, and he's gonna do a song called On the Other End. back with us again now and Garland will do another little tune on the accordion course. <laughs> Thank you. 
So Hamlin's going to do a sign now called Up With The Wind by Lisa J. Dawn. Liberty. 
have some more greetings to pass along. We have a birthday greeting going out to Cherise Coley, who will celebrate her 12th birthday on the 21st of February. Greetings from Mom, Dad, and Brother Chas. Birthday greeting going out to Sandy Strickland, who celebrated her 13th birthday on the 21st of February. Greetings from Mom and Dad. Happy birthday to Jody Han, who celebrated her 18th birthday on the 17th of February. Greetings from Mom, Dad, two brothers, and also Serge. Happy birthday to George Biller Jr., who celebrated his birthday on the 9th of February. Greetings from family and friends in Virgil. We have birthday greetings to Alice Roberts, who celebrated her 72nd birthday on the 14th of February. Greetings come from Jim, Jolene, Gail, and Darrell. And we got happy birthday to Ella Courtney, who celebrated her birthday on the 22nd of February. Greetings from Jim and children, Cyril, Yvonne, and Corey, Gloria, Elisher, and Lynette, and also from Raymond, Todd, and Tammy. And we got happy birthday to Kenny Hirt, who celebrated his birthday on the 19th of February. Greetings from Jim and Jolene. And we got anniversary greetings to Mr. and Mrs. Gordon Mead, who celebrated their 18th wedding anniversary on the 18th of February. Greetings from the Meads and the Roberts. And we got anniversary greetings to Jack and Audrey Dix, who will celebrate their 32nd anniversary on March the 1st. Greetings from Maxine and George. And birthday greetings to Kimberly Skinner, who celebrated her birthday on the 16th of February. Greetings from Regina, Jody, and Nicole. And we got birthday greetings to Rhonda Warren, celebrated her birthday, who will celebrate her birthday, March 1st. Also greetings from, to Trevor Rhymes on March the 3rd. Greetings from Aunt Janet and Nanny Foote. So we got Eugene with us now, and Eugene is going to do a little tune on the keyboard for us.
So we got Garland back with us again now, and Garland will do another little tune on the accordion for us. John back with us again now, and John is going to do a song uh, called Message to the Trade Winds. And he wants to quit this song to his wife as their 18th wedding anniversary. Happy anniversary to you. Thank you. Thank you. The moon, the mist at midnight, made his way. All Father Time has stretched his long to close another day. Now Heaven is going to do a song called Early Morning Rain by Gordon Lightfoot.
G minus. Now he's going to do a song called Missing in Action. The warship had landed and I came ashore. The fighting was over for me and more. I have been wounded and listed for dead. Stone for my fellow, stone for my bed. The enemy found me, took me away. God in his mercy was with me one day. The gates were left open and I ran away. I ran to my home, my feet went to sea. The home I had built for my darling and me. The door I pushed open and there on the stand, I saw a picture of her and We'll get Evelyn back with us again now. Evelyn's going to do another sign that she wrote herself. It's called Your Body and Your Personality. No offense to the male population. Uh. Not a hair out of place, your eyes and bite. Your smile and your curves don't show the true light. Because your body and your personality don't mix at all. You snap your fingers and the girls will run. You think you'll use them for what you call fun. But your body. We got John with us now. John is going to do a sign while he's in town called the ketchup sign. There was a guy from PEI and he used to call potato. He met this young Leamington, Ontario tomato. But he had eyes for other girls and she was a little fussy. So they said, come on, let's win. There's no sense being fussy. Big size french fries, how they love tomatoes. Dress them up in Heinz ketchup, ketchup loves potatoes. Ketchup loves potatoes. 
Well, he went down to Windsor Town to buy a ring on Monday. Saturday, they said, OK, we'll cut the cake on Sunday. A Sunday came, what a shame, they had no one to pitch it. Well, half of the cake, they sat and ate potato chips and ketchup. Big size, french fries, how they love tomatoes. Dress them up in Heinz ketchup, ketchup loves potatoes. Ketchup loves potatoes. So this guy from PEI, he used to call potato. He got two boys and a little girl, two spuds and one tomato. They rock and run around Leamington, and boy, when they get hungry, the bottle drips all over the chips way down in the ketchup country. Big size french fries, how they love tomatoes. Dress them up in Heinz ketchup, ketchup loves potatoes. Ketchup loves potatoes. We got Gerald back with us again. Now Gerald's gonna give us another little tune on the old squeeze back. Thank you. 